So what I'd like you to do now is put in a picture of population and parameter and a picture of sample and statistic. And if you're not sure, you can go back and watch this video again and see what your picture should look like. And then space for notes. So sampling errors. Let's put that all together again from our presentation. Um, sampling errors come because due to the difference, oh, that's not even good. Sampling error is the difference between the population parameter, what you were trying to find, and what you actually found, which is the sample statistic. So we wanted to know the number of hours students worked in a week, and actually in the population maybe it's 40, and when we took our sample, we found for our sample it was only 30. So there's a difference there between 30 and 40, and we want to know what caused it. So it could be, it could be a chance error, and that's unavoidable. And it's because we're using a sample only gives an estimate of the population parameter. And then remember sampling variability goes in this category as well. So sampling variability. It is a type of chance error that comes from this if you took several samples, each of them would have a different statistic for the same population parameter. And they should be close, but they won't be exactly the same. Okay, so that's chance error. And remember which types of studies are likely to give us only chance error? The ones with random sampling. Good. So random sampling and stratified random sampling are likely to result in chance error. And you might want to write that down. The other type of error that we could have that's a sampling error is sample bias. And that comes from choosing a bad sample. And remember, a bad sample is not representative. Of the population. And we can eliminate this can be eliminated. By using good sampling methods. Okay, and so the two types of sampling that result in sample bias would be quota and convenience because they are both basically convenient samples. And quota, remember, has stratifications, but it's basically a convenient sample because that's what you do after you find your quotas. 
other types of errors and you may need to look back in your notes for more information on these but I'm just going to give you the summary of those you have selection bias and you have non-response bias and there are more types definitely we're we're just um, you could also look on page 502 I think they're defined there so selection bias is that there's a built-in tendency to exclude a certain group from your sample and this happens when your sampling frame is smaller than your population when they come out to be the exact same that your your population is this large and the group that you're choosing your sample from is the exact same thing then you are avoiding selection bias okay non-response bias when people fail to return a survey or refuse to participate so they don't turn it in they don't want to do it it's a type of selection bias okay and so that could happen in any type of survey um, that you have selection bias when your sampling frame is smaller than your population and the non-response bias you, sometimes you just have people uninterested or, or reluctant to participate there's not a lot you can do about that okay 